Yeah, and if I'm looking inside... Oh, I, there's a wave pool inside the mirror. That's interesting. Uh, so, let's go back outside! And play some video games. Wait, so where else is... Oh, this is the jungle exit. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I didn't notice by the uh, the frog and the manatee on the on the front there. What the fuck? Welcome to the Sub Drag Buggle Zone, a collection of snakes from all over the world. Ah, uh, snakes. Why was it snakes? <laughs> That's what he says. As it is very dangerous, please do not touch or pet the snakes. But feel free to feed them. They like their favorite food is human feet. It sure is a jungle in here. <laughs> I can't do a very good canned laughter. With this heat and humidity and inky python. Wait, they're actually supposed to show you the snake. I don't know where it is. Oh, well, uh, never mind. The temperature is kept at 82 degrees Fahrenheit and humidity at 80%. Careful, the floor is very, very wet. Yeah, the so the snake here, an albina tree boa. These fierce and aggressive boas can swallow a person whole. That's not very good. It's not very good at all. But yeah, where's the snake on this one then? Whatever, man. Can't do that. Can't lie to me. Can't lie to a liar. I mean, you can. Not like they would know. An Indra snake. Due to its specialized neurotoxin, a person bitten by the Indra snake will feel like they've been struck by lightning. Dude, that's dude, that's awesome. Struck by lightning. Ah, uh, yes, I'm a famous professor snake, and I can understand the language of snakes. I brought many different kinds of well, regular snakes from various jungles around the world, all over this very event. I suspect that. Professor Snake um, might actually be a reptile. Burr, 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 burr. And there she is! Whoa! That thing is like coiled around the. Uh, oh, it's an animatronic. I'm not usually around reptiles, but when there's this many, it's like fucking with me, dude. Alright, let's talk to the big guy here. A spotted anaconda. Known for its world class size and fiery temperament, this snake will make an easy meal out of Stop it! Stop it right now! The longest one on the record was 65 feet. This is a scale replica. It's held together by metal rings to keep it from falling down. Okay. Um. Oh. I guess I can. What am I supposed to do in here? Only authorized personnel on this point. Okay, how do I become authorized personnel? A blood snake. It's believed to be natives. <laughs> it's believed to be natives, yes. They are the people themselves to cause great floods. How does a snake cause floods? I guess that's a cultural belief. Those aren't also those are those aren't always the best beliefs. <laughs> I'm going fucking insane. I guess I was supposed to talk to you, maintenance man, for some reason. See, this is one of those things where I wanted you to talk to everyone for no particular reason. Phew, it was tiring. Yeah, well, you want to take a break? You know what? You take a break. Yeah, I do. Let's go outside. I know a cute, I mean, cafe <laughs> nearby. A cafe? I never been to one. I never even been outside. I never even drank cafe. How do you drink cafe? Well, they let two kids in there. If you go with me, it'll be fine. I look 21, I'm old enough to drink coffee. Gasp. She's watching. Always watching. Ah, uh, so this is where they went. <laughs> ah, so this is where they went. I sound like a freaking bootleg animation voice actor. A bootleg Disney movie. So this is where they went. Or like, what's her name from the Christmas, the magic Christmas tree? That lady. Children! No! Nope over you! No! 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 I forgot her name. Luna, what are you doing here? Um, I am, um, um, speak clearly. 
I was. <laughs> Come on, Coney, let's hurry. Uh oh, Spaghettios. Huh? What are you doing here, Luna? Yes, what are you doing here? I. I'm going to sing a song about how I fucked up. Luna, where are all these children? You don't know any other children. There are no children in this world except for you. These are my classmates, Coney, and I'm his friend, Sonia Strum. Huh. Elementary school children out on a date? Huh. Huh. <laughs> I can't say that I approve of such behavior. Children. Dates are okay, but children... Dumb. Children have no business acting like adults. Only when we want them to, like our daughter for some reason. And go out on dates. If you... You know, children have every right to act like... Look, man. Okay, that's not what I was going to say. Whatever. If you have the time to play pretend, then you should start it getting better grades. Hey, so because we're kids, doesn't mean you have the right to be rude to us. I'm afraid being children... Being around children like these is truly negatively affecting our dear Luna. We should speed up our better search for a better school and transfer. To... Transfer? What are you talking about? I'll tell you what we're talking about. <laughs> Slapping a child in the face is the sure way to victory so that Luna will have a bright future ahead of her and we are transferring Luna to a school with an environment better suited to studying and discipline. An environment raised to 80 degrees and 82 degrees Fahrenheit with plenty of heat and water and giant people. <laughs> studying and discipline. Once there she will Ravel like you anymore. She'll be cool and chill like a villain. I hope you will refrain from associating with Luna and corrupting her. You and your filthy father. That's enough. Stop. Stop sucking. Be quiet, Luna. You will be good girl and do what we say. No, I'm not. You're some mother's doll. Bam. Character development. You know, I think this was a show, but. The pilot was the movie, or uh, uh, vice versa, and it didn't really go any further after that. I think this would have made a much better show than Mega Man Battle Network. <laughs> that was fucking annoying. Because I'm not... I don't understand <laughs> why there's a digital Mega Man, and there's like a huge amount of parallels of Mega Man and those things, they're all programs. It's like gutsman.exe and that's the difference, I guess. It's, I never really got into that at all. I like the idea of them being like in a world where robots exist and they're robots. Like they're, they're all programs, they're all digital. It's all contained inside that world. It's like kind of boring to me. I was wondering if she's okay. That's true. Do you want to go check up on her? If you are, then you better hurry. We got a bad feeling about all of this. A bad feeling? That's the worst kind of feeling. Or, uh, I'm trying to fight back a yawn. Don't listen to me. Sonya, <laughs> we've got to hurry. So, we're all, we're all quick. I want to get this out here. Should we go after Luna? Yeah, I guess. I guess we can. I hate them. I hate them both. You lied to their faces. Wait. You lied to their faces that you are the perfect daughter who can do anything. But where is the real you? Who's there? Over I mean, <clears throat> over here. Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm getting another transformation. Uh oh. Oh, this is very bad. This, this is very bad. <laughs> That's my Chris O'Neill impression. This is very bad. Oh. Oh, Muriel. Oh, no. I am 
Of. 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 Fucking. Ofika? Ofiuka? Ofike? I'm here. Well, she has a girl voice, so. <laughs> yeah, good luck doing that, me. I am here to give you the power to break the bonds that tied you down. I'm a monster! Don't be scared. I came to give you my power. You think I'm gonna fall for that? I've already seen a few run ins with a monster just like you. I see. So you've already married. So you met other Fmeans before. In that case, okay, for sure. I'm gonna take over your body and cause havoc. Oh, yeah, that is what she's saying. And you can stop them from transferring you. What? You can stop both of your parents sending you off. It's not impossible. All it takes is one quick step! And they're dead. However, if you don't let me in, I'm afraid it might be too late. But, but how? Shh! Dragon Ball Z, intertime mission, that's what they call it. Show them your will. Make it crystal clear to your parents. You feel, you feel that you're not their little doll. How I feel. That's right. Let me in. I can show them your true feelings. I can show them your true feelings. I don't even want to try to do Christopher Walken. <laughs> I, I, I can't keep it up for like more than two seconds. Stop. Stop. Don't let her in, Luna. <laughs> He's very non-convincing. Luna, stop. She just wants to use you. Don't. Stop. Come back. It's your choice whether you want to let me in, but if you don't, then you won't be able to change a thing. Luna, don't. I don't want to transfer to another school. I will make your wish come true, because I am a genie now. And I can grant your wish. Oh, now she's gone for good. Bye. I have my goggles on, so I should have been able to see her, but it doesn't make any sense. Look up by the sign. Look! Look under your sheet, boy! He's deceiving you! Whoa! Don't try and stop me. She turned into one of those nudges from that website that you're not supposed to go to. No, no, she's in the rave world inside the exhibit. We gotta hurry. Ophiuka, oh, huh? He sure picked up a bad spot to show up. Actually, this is the perfect spot. That's actually a habitat for snakes, did you know that? Well, bad for us, good for her. Ofruka is a, a Ephemian who can control snakes. And because <laughs> how <laughs> radio waves and snakes, how, explain to me, uh, creator of Mega Man Star Force, how that works exactly. And you know what's inside the exhibit? Trees. I bet she's having a blast in there. Gotcha. I'll be careful. Uh oh, looks like something's happening. It will be too late if you don't get in there. It sounds like a fire alarm. So, it looks like I'm gonna go play around on the <laughs> ground here. Oh, I mean, I guess I have to do it now, anyway. I wanted to fuck around in this place anyway. Let's see what's in here. Yeah, 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 okay. I wanna see what's around. Well, it's a... It's a gooey. That's weird. Wow, you died really fast. What? I'm gonna put this guy down so I can have more power. Oh, wait. Uh, I just moved in front of that guy <laughs> on accident. That's okay. Okay. Wow, that was a pretty good counter. That was also a pretty good counter. Ouch! You didn't have to do that. Ow! Okay, that doesn't stop him from hitting me. <laughs> Wait, that's gonna hit in the wrong spot. Yeah, okay. Ow! Dude, not cool. 
What? I he activated and I hit him. Come on, man. Come on. Well, I was close. I almost got hit again, and I probably would have died. Do do do. Okay, I want to go inside that panda thing. Cause I've been wanting to do that. It's a panda. Jet attack three. Oh boy. Oh yeah, that's right. I'm dying. I forgot. Not if I can help it. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. I think those are jet attack threes. The race of uh, jet attacks. Let's punch you right now. Oh, okay, we missed. Critical hit! Yay, baby! Explore around here some more. I'll do one more thing and then I'm gonna call it a video. Damn it, dude. Oh, that's a big guy. That's what we call one of them big hair boys. So I watched this. Invader Zim lost episode supposedly but um it was about uh it was called the depression of doom or something and one day like Dib just gives up hunting aliens and Zim thinks this is just a trick and uh oh my god oh my god <laughs> I'm dying a lot and Zim thinks this is just a trick but there's like a whole scene where Dib and his father I don't know why I did that I don't know what's going on I don't know uh, I have a frame perfect <laughs> that shit because if I waited any second longer he would have gone away Am I getting hit? Okay. Oh, that's bullshit. Anyway, yeah, there's a whole scene where Div talks to his father, and he's like, I'm giving up aliens for science, Dad. And... Zim sees this, and then he gets depressed. And, uh, they both just get depressed. And then... Like... I don't know where- they start like missing each other and they start like losing themselves and it just gets really fucking weird and uh what else happened um fuck what is that uh it's a target for something and then what the fuck happened dude Anyway, they both just have like a click moment where Div goes back to thinking about aliens and Zim goes back to wanting to conquer Earth. But then they talk to each other like they're friends, like they miss being like enemies. It gets really stupid <laughs> at the end. And apparently it was a fan fiction <laughs> that uh that was like brought to life through some of the voice actors and it was headed by the fanfic writer of course and uh, partly animated by them it because it made me I thought it was a real lost episode because spliced in were these hand-drawn storyboard moments and uh, And it's just like, oh, I guess this isn't a real Lost episode. It wasn't even like a forgotten script or anything. Anyway, that's that story. <laughs> Sorry, that kind of like ended on a weird note. Anyway, if you use your stylus... Wait, what? Oh. That's a weird mechanic. Uh, oh, okay. Okay, I'm gonna go in this head. And that's gonna be the end of the video. Moa Moa comp. Uh.
I hope I don't fight any enemies in here. Hey, as a guy, you're in the Momoa comp. Did <laughs> you guys remember to do your homework? <laughs> oh, no.